Today, I'm going to try to do one of these voiceover videos that other YouTubers do. Um, I'm cleaning in this video. So you're going to see me. I'm cleaning this mirror. And this just got filthy during Christmas. The top of this dresser has a, a glass cover over it. And it got filthy. There was a tree sitting here and a Christmas village sitting here. And it was just as dusty as it could be. So, uh, yeah, I, I wanted, I could not wait to get my hands on that and, and clean that. And then you'll see me, I go back to the mirror. <laughs> and now I'm putting out these little uh, Valentine's dogs. And they don't stay in this. They're all going to stay in this place. But you'll see me later on, I'm going to move this lamp into the den. And so this... Uh, one of the dogs will get moved a little bit. I've noticed from watching myself on these this video, especially, I'm a very fiddly person. So I like to, to fiddle with things and move things, and they have to be in just the right location. Uh, so here I am. I'm cleaning off the shelves and the mantle. And the reason I'm doing that is because Kevin has all those metal earths that are going to go there. So now these are those Portobello by Design mugs. I only have four for Valentine's Day. Two of them are actually the same, so I only have three different mugs, um, but I just, I leave those on display, and then um, I'm getting some things out that I had packed away for Christmas and putting those back, and now here's all the metal earth, so all of these on the table, there's, there's quite a few of them, um, there they all are, because I don't think I had them all in the room at that time, so now they're all here, and I start off with these big, the big men that Kevin has because I like to get the big ones in place first and then put stuff around them. And you can see um, through the front door there on the left, the lights are going crazy because the guy across the street from us decks his house out like Chevy Chase Christmas Vacation. And so you're going to see those lights going crazy as I'm cleaning or as I'm putting these up. But all of these little pieces, there's no telling how many he has. And um, I tried to, I tried to group them at first. Like I tried to put like all the Harry Potter together. And then I tried to put all the Disney together. And um, all the, he has a set of like military trucks and he has a set of like ships. And then there's like um, famous like buildings. Like the, he has like the Eiffel Tower and um uh, he has uh, Elizabeth Tower. Um, then he has a set of like famous bridges. And so I do try to keep those together um, the best I can. Um, also in the frame, you're going to see the pillows. There's tons of pillows stacked up because I went up in the attic and I got down all the pillows that were up there. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to just bring them all down, pile them up on the table and then once I get to that point, once everything's clean, the very last thing I want to do is decide where I want the pillows. And I thought, you know what? If I don't have room for all these pillows, then it'll just go back up in the attic, right? But it doesn't hurt to get them all out and have them in front of me to look at them and see what I have. Um, so I'm still deciding where I want these uh, metal earths. And like I said, I'm very, very fiddly and very particular and I just I guess I should have known that about myself because I tell you what it, it's I think it was Ashley that said it um she said I that she could move something and I would notice it or I at least and I've always said that too if, if you come in my house and you move something that I've put somewhere I'm gonna notice that you moved it because I, I want it sitting a certain way so that's just that's just me being fussy in particular um but uh this uh this red tablecloth will end up going because i had it out for christmas in the past i've left it up for valentine's day but uh this time i decided i'm not going to leave it on the table um and now i'm doing dishes uh this is just one of those things that needed to be done so i included it in this video i've gotten to the point i really enjoy doing the dishes <laughs> i don't know why i'm weird I enjoy doing the dishes and I enjoy um, drying them off and putting them up and then having the kitchen completely clean and not knowing that anything ever happened. Um, and I say that all the time. You never even know what happened. Um, but you see, I'm using, um, you might be able to see it better in a second. I'm using a scrub daddy. 
Kevin and I never used a scrub daddy. We always used one of those. I think it's called Scotch Bright. It's uh, like a blue scrub pad. And then Ashley got uh, got us on the scrub daddy, and it's really really hard to touch it. So if you ever touch one in the store and you don't think you'd like it, it's it's actually terrific. Once you get it wet, it's um, very moldable and um, it it does a great job on the dishes, and it lasts a long time. Uh, so I'm just spraying out the sink. I always do that, and then I've got my uh, Clorox or Lysol wipes. And now I'm going to replace the hand towel and the soap. The soap in my bathroom was was empty, so I have to fill refill that. Gave me this. Actually, I gave this to Ashley. This is some Downy Unstoppables. This is the Old Spice, and I guess she used it and did not like the scent. I've I've uh, we did a video on the Downy Unstoppables, and they work. They smell wonderful. It, it's fantastic, but it doesn't clean your clothes. So honestly, it's just you're spending money on um, something to make your clothes smell better, and I just don't worry about it. But since Ashley gave it to me, I'm going to use it. Um, so I've got a lot of a lot of laundry to catch up on, and uh, so it says to put it in the washer before you uh, put the clothes in. So I'm going to be using that along with my Tide Pods today. Now you see how much laundry we have on this day we had i did three loads which is not normal normally i only have two loads but i had some extra stuff in this laundry that i don't normally have so because we were cleaning up after christmas i had used a blanket a smaller blanket under one of the trees so that was in here um the, the sheets were in here uh, now they're just turning on the washing machine I always use cold water because I'm cheap. This is a table in the uh, hallway, and it's just, you see how dusty it is. So once I get my Christmas stuff in place, I don't dust. I, it just it just stays the way it stays. And this is in the living room. Um, yeah, I don't clean, really. I mean, I vacuum the floor, but to, like, dust around Christmas stuff, it's just too big of a pain. So, I, I mean, I, I just don't do it. Um, it just is going to stay dusty. <laughs> Nobody notices with all that Christmas stuff out anyway. So now I'm going to put this lamp back in place. I had had it in the hallway during Christmas. And you'll see me fiddle with it for a little while. And the stuff on this table, I'm going to put some stuff on this table. And then it's going to get fiddled with. Because I, I'm particular. Uh, that's a Harry Potter uh, house that I, that I like. Fiddle, fiddle, fiddle. Yeah. I, I couldn't get it. It's like, why isn't it going where I want it to go? You know, I wanted it to look right. So now the chair, I'm moving this out of the way. I'm going to clean this table. And um, Asthma gave me this mannequin head. Asthma in Ohio. Um, and her name is Belinda. Everything, I have to name everything. And I'm fixing her hair. So she'll look pretty. Her name is Belinda. So now I'm going to put the chair back. I think the pink chair will go better on this side of the room. Because I didn't want it right up against that red couch. So now we're back to the dryer. Clothes are finished. Put stuff in the dryer. But I did do a total of three loads on this day. I'm only showing you one. But there were three. And I actually got them all done. Folded, put up, and everything. Kevin is always awesome. He'll help me fold the sheets we fold the sheets together and that's always nice but i am liking my new washer and dryer so if you're wondering do i like it yes i like it i'm glad that that we got them they work really really well don't have any issue with them at all so now we're in the kitchen and i'm doing the floor i've already gone through and vacuumed so most people probably wouldn't use a vacuum cleaner on their floor i do because these are hardwood floors I, I go through and I vacuum the floor first, and then I'll come through with the Swiffer, and I use the the uh, wet Swiffer wet wipes, and I wipe the floor. And it probably, I'm guessing it takes me three or four of those wipes to do the entire kitchen floor. So that's not bad, and it's not like I'm going through, I'm, it's not like I'm doing this every week anyway. I used to do it every week. I do not have to do the kitchen floor every week anymore. 
Uh, we just don't have a lot of traffic through here, and, and so I don't have to worry about it. Now all these chairs get put back, except for one. You'll see me leave the one on the end uh, because I'm going to do this side of the room. And this side's probably the dirtiest side because this gets all the traffic from the hall back to the, there's a bathroom through that door. Man, this really doesn't get done that often. <laughs> so I'm going to go all the way up these steps and do each one, vacuum each one. And so I haven't done this probably since before Halloween. So you're talking about all the Halloween stuff went up and down. And then all the Christmas stuff went up and down these steps. And of course, you're going to get just little things. Um from all that that coming up and down in the boxes and stuff like that so this this needed to be done Kevin walked by um, but it, it needed to be done it was it was really really dusty yeah now it gets to that landing up there and now I'm back in the dining room and I had noticed when I was in the dining room that I needed to clean this grate and uh, these Egyptian figures they were just dusty so I wanted to go back in there and wipe those off real quick Get the dust off now you see me i'm moving out all these chairs from this rug this doesn't get done that often because we don't eat in this room very often now i love the dining room i know a lot of people don't have a dining room uh, but i really do love eating in there um, it just feels fancy even if it's not it feels fancy uh, but those those chairs i'm not happy with the chairs i love the table i think the table is beautiful those chairs are so heavy. It's just, they're just, they're a pain. I wish we had bought different chairs, but very, very happy with the table. And then that cord. If I can get something tangled, I will. Now, this is where that flocked tree was in the dam. And so you see a lot of those little white particles in the floor because, because the, I, when I cleaned it up, some of it fell off. But now it's easy to clean up. You know, it's so easy to vacuum all that. It didn't take but a second to vacuum. Um, I love the flock tree, love the look of, of it. Um, I really have no complaints about it. It's a smaller tree. Just vacuuming off that chair. Now I'm going to put this the chair back where it goes and this table. Yeah, fiddle, fiddle again. Yeah, I want it just so. It has to be just so, so. And then this lamp, that's the lamp that was in the dining room. I told you I was going to be moving it. Then I'm going to vacuum uh, in here. So uh, you might see Kevin's um, uh, Kevin's work in the back, his needlepoint. And he missed, He's he works on that every single night when we uh, watch TV. He missed probably four or five nights, though, because the furnace went out and we couldn't sit out here and watch TV because it was just too cold. So he missed some nights of doing that. Of course, he could have brought it back in the bedroom, but... He's not as comfortable doing it back uh, back in the bedroom as he is out there, but but he he's worked on it. So it's just a it's a labor of love. Now you're gonna see me doing something that really doesn't get done that often, which is cleaning under this couch. But I had seen as I walked by, I thought, wow, you can see that that's dusty, and I'm gonna show you. You're gonna actually see this wipe when I'm finished. It was just very very. It's not dirty. It's just dust. You know, it everybody has it. So now we're going to put the pillows back. This is, uh, you're going to see Lord and Lady Fluffington. Kevin named them those pillows in the living room. And then I'm, I'm just putting all the pillows in place. So then put some out here. And all those pillows that you saw in the dining room, I actually used them all. I actually had a home for every single one. If I hadn't had a home for them, they would have gone back in the attic. But everyone has a home. So I love these dogs, and I try to pick out good um, chairs to put them in so that they're con contrasting colors, you know, so that they don't blend in with the chair, and you can actually, they actually stand out and you can see them. So I think those look good. And then in the dining room, I even put one at the, the head of the table, at each end of the table. And of course, when we eat, these will get moved, but that's okay. And then there's even going to be one in the bedroom by Union Jack for the bedroom. And now I'm just walking around the den. It probably sounds silly, but once I'm done cleaning, I just want to look around and make sure that nothing's out of place. 
that I picked up everything I wanted to pick up, that I didn't leave some random Christmas decoration. And just to survey and be like, yes, this is what I did today. I'm proud of the work I did. It smells good in there. I took that Febreze stuff and I sprayed it on the carpets. I always do that last. I spray the couch and I spray the, the carpets with the Febreze. I really like it. And it, it just smelled nice and clean. And um, then walked in the dining room and just, just making sure that, see, I moved those little dogs just a little bit where that lamp was just because I'm fiddly like that. But just showing you around one more time but thank you thank you so much for watching this video let me know if you like it if you do maybe i'll try to do more uh, so i'll see you next time